Welcome to this talk on India and global climate negotiations. Uh, it, the, the story that I am about to tell, it is something that I have been associated with for off and on. And um, it, uh, it's about how global climate negotiations started, where they are now, and where they need to end. It's a kind of a saga uh, of multi uh, nations and multi actors uh, that you will see. Now, we have to see first, let me give some background. Why is this problem uh, that we have to discuss? Uh, we, uh, the problem is that we all have a need for energy system, and energy is de dependent on fossil fuels. Fossil fuels is a common name for all oil, coal, and gas. And our entire energy system is heavily dependent on that. And that's a non-renewable resource. But in the process, we are de destroying another non-renewable uh, asset, uh, asset, and which is the uh, global climate, uh, uh, global atmospheric space. So then uh, we need to look at what is the, uh, what is the way we can get out of it. Now uh, we have uh, this carbon dioxide is the main uh, outcome of fossil fuels, and they, it accumulates in the atmosphere because it has a lifetime of 100 years. Now, uh, or more. And there are, of course, there are other fossil fuels, uh, other greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide is one of them, but it's a major one. Other, other greenhouse gases are uh, from methane and uh, waste management and many other things are also part of this uh, uh, problem. But let us uh, speak about uh, CO2 emissions and energy system. Now, uh, so this is the, uh, Background is that because of its lifetime, it uh, it accumulates over time, its space as well as through all activities, which could be uh, uh, power generation, industry, transport. There is a, uh, every human activities now is dependent on energy, and we have not yet learned how to go from this energy system to any other. Not say, not a single country can do. Uh, this address this problem itself, and there must be a global compact. And that, that is why you need Rio and you need these meetings. But uh, uh, certainly, many, many meetings went by, and things improved. There are, there are more things being discussed, especially uh, uh, more things, uh, more issues got added. Uh, for example, climate adaptation. Now, uh, when climate change started manifesting in India, we had very recently, in the last five years, we have had cyclone, hood hood, uh, uh, then city of Vishakhapatnam was affected, Jammu and Kashmir, Srinagar floods, uh, 16 billion US dollars affecting 3.6 million people, Chennai floods, Kerala floods, Srinagar floods, and so on, uh, Mumbai floods. Uh, so one could see that um, altogether in 20 years there were 300 events costing 64 uh, billion dollars of damage and 62,000 lives. So uh, we need to then 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 came the need for uh, doing something different and not uh, uh, meeting year after year asking for. I went to several meetings of this type where Copenhagen they discussed the. Uh, finance issue, uh, uh, why not develop countries give finance to developing countries? Um, there are other meetings, uh, Bali, uh, 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 Doha, and Montreal, and so on, the, the ones I attended. But there were, uh, Paris was the, finally, the landmark of a new uh, ray of hope. And <clears throat> in the Paris Agreement, they said, okay, we are not making any progress this way. Let us decide that um, we would now concentrate on um, uh, people, people will present their own plans of how they would like to see uh, uh, what they can do in their own countries. So it is called nationally determined contribution. They, these were voluntary targets, but they were to be strictly adhered and every five years there will be a review, and this 
you first you had to announce till 2030 and after that to, for 2035 and so on every five years it will be monitored and uh, watched so uh, we uh, presented a very ambitious plan i would say uh, you could say that um, uh, 175 gigawatt by 2022 is the current plan for renewable energy that India has. And also, uh, from only 5 gigawatt, we decided to jump to 100 gigawatt of solar and wind power, uh, 25 to 60, and, and so on. Altogether, total 40 gigawatts would, would be 175 gigawatts. Gigawatts means 1,000 uh, or uh, mega, megawatt or million kilowatts. So. Uh, this was one ambitious plan. Second was uh, that we would put up carbon sinks. Now, carbon sinks is the one uh, that, that, that's uh, also uh, a consideration because it, uh, it includes forests, oceans, and soils, which absorbs some, some of the CO2. So what accumulates out in the atmosphere is the negative uh, uh, net of uh, the minus, uh, the net of the carbon sinks contribution. So we would increase uh, 2.5 to 3 billion tons of carbon sink, and also we would uh, reduce our energy intensity. Now, uh, CO2 intensity. What is CO2 intensity? Is per thousand rupees of GDP, you should not exceed uh, uh, the CO2 emitted per thousand rupees of GDP. And in fact, uh, you should keep uh, continuously going down because as you double the GDP, your CO2 should not increase proportionately. So uh, we, have, we promised 33% of reduction there. Uh, so uh, let me first, the Paris Agreement also decided that we should consider loss and damage issues seriously because uh, really there is nothing that some of the helping, uh, some of the other countries which I have not yet mentioned, for example, uh, 42 islands are, uh, they have made a coalition and they talk about their own survival and rights to migrate, and um, there they, they have a very different problem. African countries ask for climate justice. They say that um, we have not emitted and yet we suffer. So where is the justice here? And this is what's very different from, from in the uh, global pollution compared to local pollution. The local pollution, uh, what, what happens in Bangalore doesn't affect Delhi, and Delhi pollution does not matter to Bangalore. Um, but here, uh, uh, not only uh, what, what, what happens in US matters to India to us now, <clears throat> but also whatever previous generation, for, you can see since it's a 100-year lifetime, lifetime uh, previous generation and generation before that, all will be responsible for what happens from 100 years from now. So it is uh, something that accumulates over uh, time, over space, over activities, and that is the tough part uh, about uh, climate change, and it is why we need to have a global compact. Uh, now, so Paris Agreement uh, took this further, and everybody came out with this plan. Next year, 2020, we would know uh, what people have done after submitting their plan. So, um, uh, the, we, uh, and, and whether they are on track or whether they are not track, that all that would be discussed there. Uh, so, um, then we come to re then recently, uh, I, last week I was in uh, Madrid. That was the uh, COP25 uh, uh, in 2019. And um, these, they released this report called Climate Change Performance Index. So what they did was they took uh, four indicators for every country. What is your GHG emissions today? Um, what is your uh, renewable energy uh, share uh, uh, and, and efforts? Uh, what is the energy use level? And what is the climate policy? So India actually moved up from 11 to 9 because India has a very clear climate policy. You might uh, know that uh, in 2015, uh, uh, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi went uh, to Paris and declared 
uh, Indian Solar Alliance, and that uh, gets all the countries together for our technology development uh, in solar technology, which is available to all countries. So we have uh, India in uh, one of the high achievers. Uh, nobody is in the very high achiever uh, area. Uh, then we have a medium, and China is considered medium because it's finally coming down, and it has uh, now a lot of effort in terms of renewable energy. Uh, uh, but uh, what we uh, ahead of China is, the, of course, the EU, which already uh, has a low, low population and low consumption, and uh, it is uh, somewhat using carefully this uh, carbon sprays. So we are talking about carbon budgets and how much it does not matter uh, whether my emissions go up or whether uh, emissions go down, but whether I am in within the carbon, my carbon budgets. So everybody should have to say, okay, your capacity is this much and you, uh, your development is ahead of you, you need a higher budget and so on. If we can come up with that kind of an agreement, then people can take a long-term view on how they want to uh, uh, chart out their carbon pathways, low carbon pathways. Um, in the United States, because its GHG emissions are high, it's not that serious about renewable energy, and uh, energy use uh, is high. Climate policy uh, was there, but now it is uh, kind of defunct. So it got 61st number, 61st number. So now we come to the Madrid, which, which happened last week, as I was saying, and uh, Paris Agreement had one more element, which was capacity building. And it went on for 11 days in Madrid. And every day, it was from 9 to 7, uh, all the sessions were about different, different issues. And this is where we should uh, see that these COP meetings are not just about uh, government. It's about also NGOs uh, and uh, much more about state governments, city governments. Uh, you have also uh, industry, private sector, they are all trying to, uh, to, and many think tanks and so on, they are all trying to help their own country uh, diplomats, but also uh, put pressure on them and generate a climate that we want this agreement to happen. But uh, it did not happen, but one should also look at the, what happens in the other cases. So the, the first two uh, here are the uh, events in a UNFCCC capacity building room, and the next two were in India Pavilion. That was uh, the uh, report that we released on um, disaster resilience uh, for smart cities, uh, a plan for the, uh, that plan we worked when we worked over 10 cities. So uh, you should think of Madrid as, as uh, this was not, did not achieve that much, but let's see if next year in Glasgow, 2020, we could uh, perhaps uh, see what people have done over the five years and whether NDC that people promised in 2015 at Paris, did they meet or not. Now, um, we should uh, also see that um, these uh, pavilions are buzzing with activities and this uh, uh, every day from nine to five, seven uh, people are uh, at, at a time, 50 events, events are going on. And uh, people discuss from ocean to uh, forest to uh, their greenhouse gases, industry sector, transport sector, all the uh, different aspects of uh, uh, within their country, within their region, and, and even sub-national, uh, some villages, uh, what they did. So there is a lot of exchange of ideas and knowledge sharing and capacity building. That continues. Um, uh, and should continue. Now, uh, let me summarize by saying that um, what we see, climate change, uh, uh, is, is uh, stock problem and not emissions. People can have higher, uh, what, what, if you say uh, only India's emissions are increasing, ours are going down, that's not the correct uh, picture. Correct picture is uh, that what has India also spent in the past and whether it could go in future. And there is some 
advantage of late movers, as I mentioned before, and uh, so that is one. Uh, second is um, uh, India has done well uh, in terms of recognizing this problem because we are, we are the kind, we are also suffering from it. Uh, third is that um, uh, this, these meetings should not be judged only by uh, what happens in the official circle, but there are many other things happening which put pressure on them. But yes, we, we, at the way we are going, we are not achieving much and then some radical change is needed in our attitude. Uh, th third is that uh, we, we need to share technology, technology of renewable energy. Luckily, it, the uh, only silver line here is that the prices of renewable energy and storage system, because renewable energy needs uh, sto <coughs> storage, because solar energy comes only six to eight hours in a day or eight to 10 hours a day. So we need a storage systems. Their prices are also falling. So it's possible that um, if we help one another and ensure that everybody can shift, then it's possible to achieve certain things. So uh, let me conclude by saying that um, I hope this talk helps you to understand the next uh, uh, episode of this saga that keeps coming every year. And you, we uh, need to not talk about save the earth. Frankly, save earth, earth is going to rotate around the sun no matter what, what we do here. It's the survival of mankind that we are talking about. And let us um, make a resolve that we will do all what we can to see that we don't uh, be remembered as, uh, as the dinosaurs three, three four centuries, uh, centuries from now. Thank you.